Hey everyone, it's Colin, how's it going? Backlit mechanical keyboards are awesome to use, but they tend to be pretty expensive. This time, let's take a look at one that promises a great experience, but won't kill your wallet. This is the KM G3 from Aki, which they kindly sent me to review. It's full size at 104 keys, yet offers a slim, frameless design. It's advertised as a gaming keyboard and has a clean, sophisticated appearance. The permanently attached USB cable is about a meter long, and the flip-out feet are large and give the keyboard a very stable feel. The G3 offers blue stem mechanical switches, which give a much more tactile experience than the rubber membranes on most keyboards. They make an audible click when pressed, which for some people can improve typing speed and accuracy. The downside is that they can be a bit noisy. Here, have a listen. The other major selling point for this keyboard is its backlighting. There's a multicolor LED underneath every key. The keycaps are double shot molded so the light can shine through the lettering, though I do find the font a bit hard to read. A number of lighting patterns are available to cycle through, or you can select a solid color, and the brightness and speed of patterns is customizable as well. As a nod toward being gaming oriented, there are a few layouts specific to games like Call of Duty and League of Legends. Activate one and keys relative to the game will illuminate. This is in some ways a bit of a gimmick though, as you're limited to just the few titles listed, and there's no way to reprogram those layouts. While in general the illumination works well, it is a bit cumbersome to set up. Everything about it is controlled through the keyboard itself. There's no software to install. This means you have to use key combinations to cycle through the patterns, which can get tedious. And what's more, the owner's manual is difficult to understand. So I was left with the feeling that I needed to just keep pressing different key combinations until I found the setting I wanted. Overall though, the G3 makes for a competent, though basic, mechanical keyboard. At the time I'm filming this, it's available for about $60 US on Amazon. While there are a few frustrations, like controlling the illumination, I think it still manages to hold its own. And considering there are other mechanical keyboards out there with fewer features and higher price tags, I think the Aki KM G3 offers solid value. I owe a big thank you to Aki for sending me a G3 to review. I'll include a link to it down in the description. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at thisdoesnotcomp. And as always, thanks for watching.